Well, it's a rainy November day, and I'm with Jan McNeil and Jan, it's our last tips of the month with you. Well, there's next year. There is next year. We'll be back. <laughs> yeah. So really, it's kind of rainy, but there's still a little bit that we should be doing in our gardens. There is. There is. Um, this is the south side of our garage, and I keep, for those of you that have bags of bulbs that you haven't gotten around to planting, <laughs> like me last year, a year before, I just put them all in pots. And then I shoved them against the side of the garage and I saved the leaves and I've still done that this year. And I just literally, I've got some columbine in here and I just keep um, putting leaves on till I run out because it doesn't hurt them to be there and make sure all the pots are covered. And then they have, have leaves up to the edges too. So you're protecting the outside of the pot. And I'm gonna do that the whole length of the garage. And, and really, then in the spring, just pull it off. Okay, and it really protects the rain from pounding down right. on them, insulates them a little bit, yep. and then you take it off maybe in March or so when the weather... Well, you just dig around once in a while to see if it's starting to wake <laughs> up and then pull it all off. And what else can we do with leaves? You just don't have to give them to the city. You can, no, there's other things I, to do with them. What I do is, most people see me do this every year, I, I blow them all on or rake them all onto the beds. And then in the spring, I, I take them off and then put them out and back for right. for compost or whatever. Just let them compost and protect. Yeah. And people worry about um, it having like slugs and snails and everything under that leaf mulch instead of raking it all off. But right. the good guys are under there too, mm -hmm. so you got them both. Right. And if you do have a lot of slugs and snails, what should we be doing for that? You can be baiting now because they're still laying eggs for next spring mm -hmm. and so the more you get now the less eggs you're going to have for next year. <laughs> and Jan what about weeding? Maybe get get to it right now right? Sure any weeding that you do and keep things cleaned up in the fall you're going to have less and get rid of the winter weeds and and have less in the spring so any kind of cleanup that you do is going to pay off later on. And what about leaving some of the seed heads of like maybe echinacea or coreopsis for the birds? You what? can leave whatever you want. That's yeah. the idea with the gardening <laughs> is that you can do what you want. And in the, in the winter, sometimes with a little bit of frost on it or ice, some of the seed so heads pretty. of all sorts of plants are gorgeous besides right. for the birds. And then what about just general cleaning up? General cleanup, sure. I mean, at this time of year, depending on how tried and true a gardener you are, you're ready to just kind of shut the door. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> you true. Don't. But you, there's always something to do in the garden. Don't don't prune too soon for the spring blooming plants. Don't prune them. Right. Wait for your apple trees and fruit trees and grapes and berries till mid January, early okay. February, uh, and not do anything any sooner than that. Right. So start those lists now and sure. kind of get it on the calendar so you don't forget that those sure. are things to do. And start uh, piling up the seed catalogs right. and see what you're going to do for next year. That is true. So really there is things to do out in the garden. There is kind of breaks in the rain or maybe you just need to get out of the house. So those are the tips for the month and we'll see Jan next year. All Thanks right. so much. Bye.